Today I am making light shrimp scampi. It's shrimp scampi with just as much flavor, but not as many calories, the way that I like it. So in here we have three tablespoons of butter. I'm just gonna get it all in there. And we're also gonna do about three tablespoons of olive oil. Now we do half and half because olive oil doesn't, or gets hotter and butter can brown easy. So we do the butter and olive oil so it won't burn and it has more flavor. So we're just gonna go ahead and let this melt down. And meanwhile, we have some fettuccine or linguine or really whatever you wanna use cooking away in there. And this is a very short uh, process. It's really easy to do. So now to that, we are gonna add about six cloves of garlic. Oh yeah, lots of garlic for me. It's the way I like it. To the garlic, we're gonna add some salt. And also, we are gonna add just a little bit of red pepper flakes. Just for a little bit of heat. I like it spicy. It's only gonna take a couple seconds. As soon as you start smelling it, when you know it's done. All right, so this is perfect. Just about a minute. You don't want to get any color or anything. So now to that, we are gonna add our peeled and debated shrimp. Look how beautiful these are. Big boys. Let's go ahead and put all of our shrimp in there. And you wanna make sure you pat them dry. If not, the oil is gonna come out and get you and you don't want that. So go ahead and make an even layer. You want them all to cook evenly, just like this. And look, they're already starting to cook. You gotta be careful. And you don't want tough shrimp, so you have to make sure you watch it. Mmm, I can already smell it. And add some more salt and pepper. Lots of flavor. Perfect. And some pepper. Beautiful. Now we're gonna cook this. Um, like they're already starting to cook a little bit. Look at that. See how easy? You don't want them to be too overcooked. You don't want to bite into a beautiful shrimp and have it be like rubber. As soon as it starts curling, it's when you know it's done. Like look at this one. Curl, done, flip. Beautiful. Now these are golf pinks, but you can use uh, tiger shrimp. You can use anything that you really want. I like to use a larger shrimp because I just like them better. All right, so this is done. We just turned them. Look at how beautiful they look. Now they're not all the way done, and that's the way we want them because we're gonna go ahead and add our pasta in here, and we're gonna finish the cooking process so all the linguine is covered in all that butter and garlic and goodness. So let's go ahead and put all of this in here, and then to this, you're gonna add lemon juice and lemon zest. It's really going to brighten the flavor, so it makes you think it's fattening and delicious, but it's just delicious and not so fattening. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done. All right. Ooh. Perfect. Go ahead and toss it around. It smells so good. Mmm, -hmm. perfect. So we're going to turn it down to low. We turn it down to low, and we're going to add our lemon zest. We got the zest of one lemon. As you can see, I zested this baby. And we are also going to add the juice. Now you don't want to add this too soon, or yeah, you don't want to add it too soon because if you leave it in here, it's going to get really bitter. Yeah, that would be good. We're going to do this uh, juice of two lemons. It's so good already. I wish you could smell it. All right, you know what? I'm going to say a lemon and a half because this lemon is huge. Watch out for seeds. Don't want any seeds in there. All right. 
As you can tell, this isn't your normal shrimp skin because there's not a lot of really creamy, buttery sauce, but this is better, I promise you. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It looks awesome. I'm gonna add some more salt and some more pepper. Lots of salt and pepper. You'd be surprised how bland this is right now. The salt really gives it a oomph. So. And pepper. And now we have a bunch of parsley that we just went and chopped up right here. Just a rough chop, nothing too special. Just gonna put it in here for some color and also some more fresh flavor. This look and it's so easy. Just throw this together. This is a lot of stuff. This is like a pantry kind of meal. You know, who doesn't have shrimp or lemon and parsley? It's easy. There you go. Look at that. All done. How easy is that? I hope you like it.